I want to sell you a van. I've got a 2004 Dodge Sprinter for sale. It needs a few cosmetic things. It's got a little bit of rust here and there. It's had some bad body work done to it. Chicago locks. But it's also had some upgrades. Got some nice wheels on there. Come drive one, you'll love it. Heat shield, windshield and side curtains, solar panels, walk on deck. Kitchenette, rear seating, couch that folds down to a bed, can leave your pillows up on top, and just pull that up to give you lots of garage space and a couch. Refrigerator. Table over the fridge. Pump is a little bit noisy. Catch drain. 23 gallons of water in there. It's all right here. There's a little shelf in the front for your water bottles and stuff. And plenty of storage down there. Electricity is not run inside the wall, but there is uh, extension cords and power outlets. LED lighting. Roof hatch. Storage. More storage. Deluxe seating, passenger side. Subwoofer on the stereo. It fires up. There's an upward firing subwoofer. I mean, not to say that it fires up. Cruise control. Power locks. Power windows. Broken dash vents. That's more of that cosmetic stuff I was talking about. Speaker's upgraded. Headliner has been repainted. Dashboard says 276,000 miles. Brake pedal agrees. Floorboard's in pretty nice condition for that many miles. The seat, well, that cushion can be swapped for the other side easy enough. That's a five minute job. More of that cosmetic stuff that it still needs and I just haven't had the time to do it. When you buy your luxury van from me, you can be sure you're getting the best quality luxury van at the best price. There are vents along the van. Open and close. You can open and close them from the inside or the outside. Uh, but you cannot reach in there when it's open. As you can see, it's security vents. So you can have forced air or not. Here's the vents from the inside. Fresh air in, fresh air out. Unusual ladder going up the side of the van. Gets us up here on the deck. We've got, I think that's a hundred water more. Probably more. That's a hundred watt. Somebody might have told me these are 175 watt panels, which would give us 350 watts. Wide access to get your cargo in and out. Easy access from here to empty your drain. And also hook up a garden hose here. Turn this valve on and fill your tank. Side garden shower. Can actually pull it. 
pretty far away from the van. 20 gallons at room temperature, so it's not freezing cold. It's not underneath the van. Step bumper. More vents in the back. Needs a brake light. Easy cosmetic stuff. Don't worry about the equipment. Imagine all the fun you can have in the back. Chicago locks. Big garage. At least when the bed is up, it's a big garage. You can see how the bed folds down and lays on here. Got your emergency triangles. 200 amp hour of Renogy batteries. Solar charge controller. You don't have to wind these up this much. That is done. Roof hatch. Wind it up for air. It has a screen. As you can see, much less garage space. But plenty of room for a couple of bicycles. And that front door does knock down if you want it to. I almost forgot about this feature under the bed. For longer stuff. Got more storage over here. And this chair tucks up tightly for travel so it's not out in the walkway at all it has a brand new windshield freshly treated all the way around painted rust abatement now the hood needs to be painted obviously uh, the plastic bits like this they're not missing they're just taken off for painting same with these chrome bits on the corner here they are they just need to be put back on after the painting under the hood it's a nice om647 clean So now that I've made you real sure that this is the van you want, let me show you what little things are wrong with it. Transmission pan's not looking too happy there. A nice transmission service would be a good time while that pan's off to brush, wire brush it up and paint it. We have a video showing you how to do that transmission service yourself. So it's an excellent opportunity to plug the Florida Van Man videos. The exhaust system is all right past the muffler, but it desperately needs that tailpipe extended. I don't like the ones that spit out here on the side of the van. I want them to go all the way to the tailpipe so you're not getting so much exhaust back inside the van, especially with these vents on the side and stuff. Uh, now there's the big problem. You see that dent? There's another one like it over there. I don't know what happened there but after it was dented, they let it rust all the way out. So that needs some work done. The footwells are a little bit rusty, not horrible, except maybe the driver's side. 
which is honestly pretty horrible. Could use some more cleaning and removal of the rest of the old rear air conditioner. These are easy things to do. I just haven't had time to do them myself. Yeah, there's already an aux line in the tank, so it's easy to hook up a diesel heater. Pretty horrible bodywork-ish done there. Some stuff scabbed on, some putty pasted there, some rust getting a hold of it. So here's what I would do. I would buy this van, fly to Florida, drive it to Mexico, and for $2,000 have it looking like a brand new body again. But I don't have time to go to Mexico. And I don't know what color to paint it. Get it the way you want it, including color TV, video cassette player, dynamite stereo, comfort seating, and more. Don't forget, yours comes with a roof.